Hello everyone, welcome to another video from JDM24Scale.com and today I wanted to show a close-up on the AutoZam interior before joining the interior and chassis to the body alright, to see all the details and the custom work that has been added to this interior alright, so we can begin by having a look at the dashboard where the most not noticeable thing is the uh, boost gauge on top of the dash that has been custom made all right to add that little bit detail to the interior all right the dashboard is pretty stock that is the same steering that came from the same kit all right what i have added are the uh, heater details down here you can see the uh, red and blue together with the yellow dots all right those were done to add more details to the air conditioning area all right and they match with the real autosum interior we can also see the carpets those were custom printed and are um similar to the ones used on japanese cars in the 90s the epoca the door handles which were made from the same material as the harness the red harness all right those match with the real autosum also and they are there so that the uh, once entering the car you can pull the galwing door back down okay on both sides moving around we can see the seats both seats have been replaced these are these actually come from the castrol skyline tamiya kit all right both of them this is a stock skyline r32 seat and this is a modified uh, racing seat which i have modified even further by uh, modifying the holes and uh, basic shape all right and i have custom made it into a bride seat adding the decals all right the bride decals you can see along the uh, the seat have been custom printed also i have added the photo etch four point harness details together with red harness with bride lettering the passenger side has received the uh, standard uh, seat belt assembly all right together with a photo etch seat belt receptacle down here and beneath the seats i have added a small all right roll bar over here which has been custom painted into the clear red which i have also used on several parts of the body um, the back side has been uh, covered with charcoal gray flocking all right which goes down all the way beneath the seats all right and that is basically the interior of the autosum all right and the chassis is still missing the disc brakes because these will be attached um, at my desired position together with the uh, wheels all right but as you can see it's pretty done and ready for assembly the chassis has also received some uh, modifications the major modification is actually the exhaust all right where the silencers have been replaced with a single uh, straight pipe and the tip right there that is made from metal to make it even more realistic other than that um, some coloring was done to make it 
a little more brighter and eliminate the fact that in the manual mainly all the things are listed to be painted as black that gives it a little more life when looking at the chassis okay so that is all from me I will uh, list down the uh, link in this video's description so that you can see the whole interior being built up in pictures okay also I have a flocking tutorial which I will also uh, attach the link you can also see another video I have of the flocking tutorial how I apply the flocking to the car interiors all right and other than that it is ready to be assembled to the autosum body i thank you for watching and uh, you can view all my builds on gdm24scale.com